Thank God, first of all, Randy, we we were rooted and grounded in the realities of heaven prior to the accident. Yeah. And so having a, a really good working knowledge of people who have gone to heaven are alive and they're mm -hmm. active and they're aware. And so that, that helped a bunch. Um, even even in the beauty and the power of that, though, you're still going to have those moments of, but God, why? Oh, I know. Right. So th three days in the hospital um, before we finally made the decision to honor Josiah's wishes to be an organ donor and say, OK, it's it's time to fully release him oh, wow. even harder, even harder. Yeah. There was there was a moment, Randy, and it just doesn't get any more real or, or graphic than this. So forgive me in advance. Um, my prayer closet is my shower. Mm -hmm. And and I was sitting in the floor of my shower just days after this happened and was crying out to God and just saying, you know, Lord, I'm 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 grieving what didn't happen. Mm -hmm. Marriage for my son didn't happen. Right. Having uh, children, right. like right. all the all the what ifs. And if I've ever heard God in my life, it was in the floor of my shower in total desperation where he said to me these words, I have more than made up for all of those things. Mm -hmm. It hit me like a lightning bolt because it didn't need explanation. Mm. I knew that what my son was experiencing in heaven right now, mm -hmm. as God spoke that to me, so far surpassed any earthly things that we value yeah. that what he was experiencing eclipsed it all. And that made me realize the God of all comfort is allowing me to get comfort by having eternal perspective. Yeah. So that really prevents mm -hmm. real bitterness and hopelessness mm -hmm. from setting in. It's like Sarah said, you have to get your mind rooted in the things of God. Yeah. Christians in particular, we're, we're not great at this. I'm, I must admit, we grieve culturally yeah. rather than scripturally. Mm -hmm. And it's time for the body of Christ to start making much of heaven and to start letting the power of heaven, the reality of God's word, touch us in our grief.